You asked and now we're getting you the answers. These are Cuban tree frogs that have been spotted in local backyards. We reached out to a wildlife expert to find out if these frogs are dangerous for your pets and how to get rid of them if they are taking over your backyard. Sure. Cuban tree frogs originally come from you know, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Bahamas, or Caribbean frog, but they were introduced into Florida back in the 1920s. These large, aggressive frogs can be a nuisance when they take over your backyard. Wildlife expert Ron McGill says problem. while they can be annoying, the you don't have to worry about your pets. Some people think that they are dangerous for pets. They really aren't that dangerous. Now, you know, most frogs have some toxic substance on their skin, but it's more a toxic substance if you get it in your eyes or in a mucous membrane. It's not like the marine toads, or people call them the bufo toads. They actually have venom glands behind their, their eyes, which if dogs bite, will get sick and can often die from them. So it's not to be confused with that. While the frogs aren't dangerous, they do destroy other native plants and reptiles. So what's the best way to get rid of them? You know, you don't hit them with a bat, you know, and just throw them in the freezer. People think that's what you do with amphibians, you throw them in the freezer. That's not what you do. Uh, if you want to do it humanely, you basically put on a pair of rubber gloves, you catch the, the frogs, and you can go get a suntan type of screen or, or oral gel, which has the chemical benzocaine in it. You just rub a little of that gel on the back of the frog, put it in a plastic bag, and in about 10 or 15 minutes, it goes into a complete coma. It's like a big anesthesia for the frog then you can put it in the freezer overnight and that will humanely euthanize it and get rid of it. Uh, again, it's going to be an uphill battle because we've got a lot of frogs. Frogs that aren't native to Florida, but are definitely here to stay. So how do you know if the frogs in your yard are Cuban fr uh, tree frogs? Oh, well, it's tough because they're hard to identify because, well, they all look different and they can change colors. You can see one's green, one's brown, one's white. They camouflage themselves. Some of them have markings. Some of them, though, are smooth. So feel free to check out some of the pictures that we have of these Cuban tree frogs on our website, newsforjacks.com. There you can also upload your frog photos to Snapjacks and share them with us. And let us know whether you've spotted any of these in your yard.